My, my second question has to do with my, uh, my significant other, who um, I, think, I, I think he's had a lot of pain and anguish in his life and, and has worthiness issues, and he seems to keep attracting negativity into his life, and I, I love him a lot, and I, I know I can't change him. I'm not trying to change him, really. Um, I'm not. You know, I mean, but, but it does affect me. When he's going through this, it does affect me. You know why me, we so. believe that? Why we believe that you're not trying to change him? Because you're seeing him exactly as he is, so you are helping to hold him in that unchanged state. Okay. In other words, as she's describing him as she doesn't want him to be, and as he doesn't want to be, then things are always changing, but they're changing to more of the same. If, if what is has your prevailing attention, then your power of influence is for more of the same. And so it, it is easier. Don't you find it easier to be ornery around ornery people? Don't you, oh, yeah. Don't you find yourself, if someone has a negative expectation of you, don't you give them a reason to keep it alive nearly every time you're with them? Yes. I never fall down unless you're here, you say. Last time... I left my keys in the car and locked them in. You were here. <laughs> in other words, you can inspire, you can uplift people or you can downlift people. And of course, we're not giving you responsibility, but, but you are not doing the thing that you mean to do when you observe. And we know a dialogue like this, you want to kind of get it out in the open. We get why you would have the conversation with us that you would. But the only way to help someone else so your assumption is that he has worthiness issues or whatever but the bottom line is his point of attraction is not that good and so you would like to improve it so what you do is you watch for evidence of his point of attraction being better and that's when you comment okay. so that you become a catalyst for more of that okay. and then when it's not the way you want it to be you do your best not to accentuate it by commenting on it. Now, there's another piece of this that's really important. We know even though when it's someone that you live with, that the potential of rendezvousing with all aspects of their life is greater than if it's somebody you only see occasionally. We understand that. But just the same, you have the ability of, because you have the ability of tapping into the best parts of him. And if less than the best parts are showing up often, then there's something going on in your vibration, which is caused by your chronic observation of things you don't want to see. So what you want to do is realize that through all of that, if you, as you witness him creating differently than he wants to or differently than you would like him to, you put what you want in your vortex. You'd like his life to go better and you'd like him to feel better about himself and you'd like him to have more fun and you'd like things to go better. You'd like to be more on the wavelength with him and you'd like to have more meaningful conversations with him and you'd like to remember the way it was when you were first together and you'd like it to be more like that. There's just a myriad of things that you want that are being born out of the intensity of what you're living. So you've got this vortex that's vibrating here but you're vibrating here at least in this conversation so you got to find a way as as our friend just said either ignoring this the corks under the water that's what negative emotion is when you let go it'll bob back up to the surface you got to find a way of either ignoring it so that it'll bob back up or go general about it which causes it to go back up so let's play this game just a little bit it, it won't be good for those who are listening in but for those who are seeing the visual they'll get a sense we're gonna hold that cork under the water and we're gonna use your words my husband must have a worthiness issue now you know that he doesn't your in your vortex he doesn't but your awareness of it is that he does my husband has a worthiness issue so you're holding that cork under the water so then you say, uh, he's negatively attracting. You're still hanging on to the cork. Then you say, but not always, not 100% of the time. So you let go of the cork for just a little bit and it starts to float back up and then you say, but. <laughs> you know him. But. <laughs> we know you. You sure do. <laughs> I love this guy. Usually. <laughs> He's just the sweetest guy. Sometimes. 
drives me out of my mind. Can't live without him. I want things to be better for him. He doesn't try very hard. <laughs> I'd love it if you'd listen to Abraham. Oh. <laughs> but he won't. <laughs> In other words, you just got to play the game with yourself. You've just got to figure out how how you can align with what you want. And the more you go general, the more you do it, then the more ideas will come. Your timing will be better. You'll get an impulse to, to walk into where he is and he'll be right there in that good feeling place. In other words, you want to run because he's like everyone. He's tuned in sometimes and not tuned in sometimes. And you want to rendezvous more with the tuned in times, you see. But you can't do that when you're aware and keeping active in yourself, your discomfort about the other. Really good. There is great love here for you. Thank yeah. you. Really good conversation.